So I just got back from the Pagani Raduno. Uh, the Pagani is now back in the shop. Uh, I'm actually gonna have Dusty take these Pagani Raduno stickers off. These stickers don't normally come on the car, but if you look at this, it's Pagani Raduno, the Drive 2023. This was epic, guys. There were 30, I think they said 32 Paganis. There were multiple Zondas, a bunch of Wyras, Wyra BCs, Wyra BC Roadsters. They had a bunch of track cars at Thermal, the Wyra R, the Zonda R. I mean, this is this was absolutely insane. And in fact, um, the last night I was there, I got to have dinner with Horacio Pagani and his son Christian. And I've got some amazing stories to tell you. I mean, I was with them for two and a half hours sitting one foot from these guys. This is like having dinner with Enzo Ferrari in my mind. I mean, the guy is, he's an artisan. I mean, if you look at the details on his cars, he was, he was telling me his obsession over the dipstick in the gas tank in the original Zonda. Like this guy knows every single part of every single car. And he used to be the test driver for all of his Paganis. And I've got a funny story to tell you a little bit later on that. But the Pagani's back. If you know me at all, I hate stickers on my car more than any human. Uh, and so these stickers have to come off. I was number 32, which means nothing, but they just assigned it to me uh, for the Reduno. We put, I think I put six or 700 miles on the car over just a couple of days. We went through Joshua Tree uh, National Park down by Palm Springs. We did uh, some winery visits, which doesn't mean anything to me because I don't drink alcohol, but it was beautiful. Through Temecula, through wine country, stunning. And I will, uh, I'll, I'll show you guys some of the videos I took while I was down there. We got the Pagani sorted, I think. Now it's time for something really important. Can I get a 10 piece chicken McNuggets meal? I was thinking something was off with the Pagani a little bit, um, just cause it had basically no recognition of the key that's in this car, or at least it was really challenging to get in. Then when I stopped at Best Buy, uh, I went to go back and get back in the car um, and the key wouldn't register at all. So I actually had to like, I don't even know what was happening, but somehow when you pull the, the passenger door lever, lever the uh, the window drops down. So I was able to reach inside, open up the passenger window, climb through, open up the passenger door. Then uh, right after I left, I pulled up to the first light, of course, after my McDonald's run, which was a, a necessary thing. but. Um, I pulled up to the first light, car went completely dead, like no power, no anything, couldn't get it to start, couldn't get it to even recognize anything. Uh, so anyway, they're sending a tow truck, I'm going to get a tow truck out to uh, Palm Springs, I guess a tow truck ride, and uh, they said that they think they can fix it easily, so wish us luck. So here I am, I'm broken down on the side of the road, but here's the good news, delicious chicken McNuggets. So. I have this theory that you could actually survive any harsh environment, and this is not a harsh environment. I'm swaddled in Italian baby seal leather, but you can survive any harsh environment with just a box of these. So 10 piece chicken nuggets, go get it at your local McDonald's, especially if you have to survive a car breakdown in the middle of California. All right, we're safely loaded up. Gonna head to uh, Palm Springs where all the techs are waiting for us. Um, for the Pagani Reduno. Hopefully they can figure this out so we can have a good time. All right, guys, on the Reduno. Got a bunch of cops blocking the traffic off for us. Here we go. So this has been a pretty amazing drive so far, actually. We're heading up into Joshua Tree uh, National Park. I'm sandwiched in between a Wyra BC uh, in front of me in a standard Wyra Coupe, but on either side of them is, are, is a Zonda S, and then I think a standard Zonda. So this is like car lover's dream. I, I literally can't believe I'm driving around with, with 31 other Pagani uh, and their owners right now. Uh, Horacio Pagani and his two sons were here last night. Phenomenally kind people. Uh, that are super passionate about uh, these cars that they're making. This is their business, this is their life, this is what they've dedicated their life to do, is bring to pass like these uh, amazing pieces of art. Uh, and uh, you know, it, this is just wild. I mean, I'm driving through this absolutely breathtaking scenery. I'm literally looking at a Zonda S right now, right in front of me. 
uh, and it's it's so fun. All right, guys, walking out to the car to begin day two. Let's go. All right, we just left the uh, Botella Winery, and we're winding through the hills of uh, Temecula. Beautiful country, by the way, wine country here in Temecula. There's vineyards all over the place. This is a really pretty place. I've never been here before, but uh, good times. And we just left our uh, lunch stop. Uh, it's 3.30 now. It's obviously a late lunch. Now I'm fire following behind uh, another Wyra. Uh, let me see. Let's see if we can see it. Wyra, Wyra, Wyra BC. Wyra BC, then me, and then there's another Wyra BC behind me. So, pretty impressive collection of cars. All right, this is fun. Just got back. Second day. That was a great day. Several hundred miles, about six hours of driving. Man, what a good time. So the Pagani Reduno, it's an invite only event, only for Pagani owners, although I think they allowed a few kind of high-end AMGs like the AMG GT Black Series. They had a couple of those this year. Um, but they kind of they kind of split us up apart from them mostly. Um, but once a year, Pagani puts on this Reduno, and the Reduno is an invite-only, owners-only Pagani event. Uh, and this year there were, I think, 32 street cars. And uh, at the track there were a bunch of uh, uh, race cars, so Zonda R's, Waira R's. Uh, so there was all in. There was maybe 40. Like they had the new Pagani Coda Lingua. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, that was unveiled. A gentleman took possession of his new Zonda F at dinner. Like, it's kind of an alternative reality, but... Um, so we get together, and for four days, all we do is drive. Like, we drive and we eat. We drive and we eat. There's always special guest appearances. There's, um, you know, special car appearances. Uh, and then, of course, I got to sit down and have dinner with Horacio Pagani and his son Christian. Uh, and it was it was epic. This year, the Pagani Roduno uh, was in Palm Springs, California. We stayed at the Ritz Carlton. Uh, we went through Joshua Tree National Forest one day. Uh, had a couple of breaks there. We, we had this rad kind of barbecue-esque kind of restaurant that we all stopped at. I've got pictures of. Um, and then day two, we went up and over the mountain. If you've been to Palm Springs, an amazing twisty road uh, that was just insane. Uh, it was really hot. It was like 105, 106 degrees already in Palm Springs. But the cars ran like a champ. I had one issue to start after I picked the car up in Costa Mesa from the service center. Uh, the car had a, had a ground wire that was loose and so the car kept just stopping and shutting off completely. Couldn't figure it out. I had to have it towed to the Ritz-Carlton, but within five minutes, the tech had it up and running and it was perfect. Uh, so we went through Temecula. I'd never been there before, just these gorgeous mountain areas. It's wine country, so if you're into wine, which I'm not, um, but it was it was stunning, like the whole thing. And then the last day, actually, I actually had to go home because we had some family stuff, but the last day, um, they had a day, like Thermal Club was completely rented out to the Pagani team. And uh, I, I think the, the great thing, the most interesting thing to me about this entire event, no one was, the, there was not a lot of ego there. There was just a lot of camaraderie and a love for the Pagani brand, which was really nice because I've been to some events where it's like, I mean, honestly, someone has been able to qualify for like a Huracan loan and they just kind of think they're God's gift to the world. And I, I think people need to understand, like, no matter who you are, basically, there's always someone bigger, more important, wealthier, prettier. It doesn't matter. Like, we're all just trying to do our best here in life. And with this group of car owners, man, they were so welcoming. Many of them had been on the Reduno before, and they just threw their arms around me. It was rad being a first-time Reduno guy in your first Pagani. Um, both the Pagani family, Michael Staskin from that's the CEO of Pagani North America. I mean, they could not have been, could not have been more inviting and welcoming. Now that I've put 
put a couple hundred miles on the Koenigsegg. I've put almost, I think we're coming up on eight or 900 miles on the Pagani, and I've owned them for a very brief period of time. I can tell you, I think the Koenigsegg is much more raw. I love the manual transmission. For like a first time car builder, the transmission in the Koenigsegg is phenomenal, like phenomenal. And I would say the only knock that I have on Pagani is this single clutch transmission. But from there, the Pagani fits me better. It's, it's actually, I really like driving it. I like um, the usefulness of it. I actually fit in the car better, which is a big consideration for me, right? Like that's why I don't still own the F40, because I literally can't fit in the car. 63245 does not fit in a uh, Ferrari F40. Um, I think that Pagani uh, has this whole ecosystem where the family knows you, the Pagani family, the entire company, the employees know who you are. They want to include you in this ecosystem as, as kind of part of a family owned business. Like it's really fascinating. I, I haven't heard a single thing from anyone in the Koenigsegg organization. And my understanding actually is that the guy that runs Koenigsegg North America lives in Dubai. So I don't, I'm not entirely sure how that functions, but um, you know, we, we have a problem with the Koenigsegg right now. We, we're kind of trying to, you know, figure this out, uh, and it'll probably have to go to a Koenigsegg service dealer sometime soon um, to to make sure it's, you know, we're we're doing things right with that car. But um, yeah, I don't. Uh, the, this Pagani has been so amazing to own so far. I would anticipate that this car sticks around. I think that there's going to be some options to upgrade the car to like a Tempesta package, you know, which kind of does a lot of the aero, maybe modifies the suspension slightly, and, and maybe even a, a drivetrain upgrade. Um, and, and I'm very interested in that. It's going to be a, a, an expensive package, but man, those Wyra BCs looked insane. Like I loved what they did with the Wyra BC, and I wouldn't mind turning this car into something that looks like that.